Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we are talking about Disney Infinity. Back on May 10th, if you haven't already heard, they announced that they have shut down their operation. I've got to tell you, I was floored when I heard this. Didn't see that coming at all. So the reasons they cited for it in particular was a loss of $1.3 million on the 3.0, which I find amazing. I, I will admit that I thought they were getting a little out of control with some of the figures they were releasing. It got to the point where everybody and their brother had a figure coming out, including a lot of characters you either never heard of or you really just didn't give a crap about. And I had a feeling that that wasn't a good idea. I thought they had an interesting niche going on with the fact that with their characters being 10 to 12 bucks a pop, you actually had a little statue, it was suitable for display, and it was kind of a cool thing. But I think they got a little out of control, and one of the reasons that the executives have cited for the failure is a lot of these figures simply didn't sell at all. And the biggest flop, and I was absolutely shocked when I heard this, was Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. I was actually looking forward to getting mine when I did, and I thought he was a cool character in the movie. I like his little weapon that he uses, or arrow that floats around and shit. Uh, very surprised to see it go down the way it did. So I did, when I got home, uh, right away start downloading a bunch of the other toy boxes that other players have made in particular some of the most popular ones by a couple of the creators that everyone knows really just did tremendous work and a lot of that is what we're seeing in the background right now so reports are very clear that the studios have been closed down that means no more working on games that means no more doing videos for disney infinity tv Everything has been stopped. People have lost their jobs. That's never a good thing. You gotta feel bad for that. One of the toughest things about this for fans of the Disney Infinity series is the fact that just a few weeks before they made this announcement, they were talking about the projects they were working on, which included, of course, Star Wars Rogue One. And a lot of people, myself included, were really looking forward to that and what they were going to do with it. So the big question that's been on the mind of a lot of people that are members of the Infinity community is what are they going to do about the servers? I think it's safe to say the servers are going away. They probably won't go away right now because they did have two new releases and I think that'll keep them around for a little longer. And my guess is at the end of summer vacation, somewhere near the middle of September, they're probably going to shut the entire operation down. So what does that mean to members of the community? Well. We already know Disney's not putting any new content out, but other creators from the community were putting out some great content, some of which is what you're seeing in the background right now. The way that works is they put out their toy boxes, Disney reviews it, makes sure it's family friendly, and then they post it for other people to play and to download. The problem is, there's nobody working anymore, so who's going to review it, who's going to clear it, who's going to post it? Nobody. I seriously don't think there will be any new content coming from anywhere at this point in time and I suggest you download as much as you can while you can because it's probably all going to go away and that's really unfortunate. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this edition. See you next time. Take care.